bank receipts are used to record money coming into the business when there's no requirement to record this against a customer record. For example, you might use this option to enter your till takings at the end of the day. To enter a receipt, from the toolbar on the left click Bank Accounts and then from the toolbar at the top click Bank Receipt. The bank account defaults to the account that was selected on the bank list. However, you can choose a different account from the drop down list if required. The date defaults to your current program date and again this can be changed if required. You can then enter a reference of up to 30 characters. You then need to enter a nominal code. Now if you're not sure of your nominal codes you can choose one from the drop down list. For example if you were entering till takings at the end of the day you would post the transaction to one of your sales nominal codes and by default the sales nominal codes are in the 4000 range. So we'll just type that nominal code directly in. You can choose a department if you want to. Project reference if you have uh, the project costing option switched on. Some details and then you enter the net and tax code. So we just enter £100 in the net box. We'll leave the tax code set to T1. Again, this can be changed if required. You can just choose a tax code from the drop down, but it's for standard rated T1. And then the tax calculates automatically at £20. Now you can tab down to the next line if you've got a number of receipts to enter. Otherwise, you can just click Save. One point to note is that if you do continue to enter additional receipts before saving is that if the transactions are posted to the same bank account, have the same date and reference, when you save them they'll be grouped together. The grouping option is useful if you've got a single receipt that you want to break down into a number of different parts, for example to analyse items to different nominal codes. Once you've entered the transactions though, just click save at the bottom and that's it done.